Have you ever wondered why variations among species are very conspicuous? There are many examples of genetic variations in humans, including the color of skin, hair, freckles, dimples, and blood types. The development of flowers that resembles insects to lure plant pollinators are some of the specifications of genetic variation. Many of these kinds of differences among people have a genetic basis, and that is alterations in the DNA. A karyotype is the complete set of chromosomes of an individual. These alterations are distributed on all 23 human chromosomes. In that case, what is this alteration we are talking about? Where does this take place? And most importantly, how does this affect us? The answer is this. Sometimes, the alterations involve a single base pair and are shared by many people. The sequence of DNA in two human genomes chosen at random is 99.9% .9 identical. However, 0.1% of it contains variations. One type of such variation is known as a single nucleotide polymorphism, or SNP. It is a genetic variation that affects only one of the basic building blocks of DNA, such as adenine, guanine, thymine, or cytosine. For instance, the substitution of a C for a G in the nucleotide sequence AACG80 results in the sequence AACCAT. It is possible that humans have many SNPs as these variations occur approximately 1 in every 100 to 300 nucleotides in the human genome. About 90% of genetic variation between humans arises from SNPs. Approximately 10 million SNPs have been identified in the human genome, of which 60,000 are located in the exons. A SNP can act as a biological marker, helping scientists locate genes that confer diversity in a population, individuality, susceptibility to diseases, and individual responses to medicines. However, do not take mutation and SNP as one genetic term. Both have distinct differences in terms of its occurrences. Mutations are very rare only occurring less than 1% of the population. The variation can be due to changes in many or even a single nucleotide. On the other hand, the SNP variation is available in a minimum of 1% of the population and is seen only in a single nucleotide. However, SNPs also undergo the same process as mutation, namely substitution, deletion, or insertion. The beauty of SNPs is that the observed variation can be followed over time and quantified. Essentially, if a SNP changes the function or expression of a gene and the change is better for a population, natural selection will favor it. Therefore, single nucleotide polymorphism can be the basis of evolutionary change.